not about my mother. My mother's dead. But she, when I was a kid, she used to. Still, she always said I was a nut. Anyway, my whole family did, and uh, they still do. And she said, uh, "Stop being a silly willy." That was her expression. Stop being. Would you stop being a silly willy, Ronald? Would you stop being a silly willy? So I said, "Silly willy. Why don't I just be silly willy?" And everybody going, "Eh, silly willy." But it, since I've started it, everybody it just stuck. And silly willy's worked out. Sometimes. Sometimes when I look for the cat in the hat, sometimes an alligator comes up. So if an alligator comes up, you guys have to tell me because I'm afraid of it. So most people think that I, because I'm being so silly and doing the goofy things when I was in school, I would be the same way. I wasn't the clown, the class clown, the clown class, the class clown. I didn't, uh, I wasn't, I didn't act up. I was timid. But I started doing puppets. I think it was like in eighth grade, about eighth grade, I guess. And puppets were fun. I used to make puppets and do that. And then I started bringing them to school and entertaining. And then I got the kids to laugh at school doing the puppet things. I did all funny stuff with it. And after I did that for about a year or two, I said, I'm funnier than the puppets. I don't need puppets. And I started doing Bugs humor funny, without that. I saw a couple of ads in the paper. I said, there's an amateur show in uh, downtown Providence, some nightclub. I can't remember the name of the club. And I said, I should go there and be in the show. My father said, come on, you're 12 years old. What do you, you know? My father was a truck driver, a big rugged guy. And he said, you're not going to go in a club. And so my uncles, they all talked to him. He said, yeah, he's a funny kid. Why don't you take him? So he took me down to one of the clubs in Providence and at the amateur night. And uh, I won the amateur night. You know what Bobby's good for? Dusting. You can dust your Actually, yeah, when I was in high school, I was making more money than my father, entertaining in nightclubs all over Rhode Island. And he was like my manager, took me everywhere. I didn't get a lot of sleep, because you entertain nightclubs, you're like one, two o'clock in the morning, you're up for school in the morning. And I was going to, <laughs> I was going to uh, LaSalle at the time. And, that wasn't a good environment. And being in nightclubs, it was strippers and all that, and the, the brothers went too crazy about that at all. <laughs> I went in the service. I was 18, 17 when I signed up, but I was 18 when I went in the service. And, um, and when I got in there, I was a member of AGVA, which is the American Guild of Variety Artists, and they went to bat for me with the service, and they said, you know, he's a member of our organization, we want him in, in the entertainment group. So that's how I get entertain, entertaining in the service. It was good duty for four years, except for the one year that I spent in remote Alaska. That wasn't very good. <laughs> that was boring. You know I'm going. My wife and I did get married. After I was in the service, like for three or four months, I came home and said we were getting married. And they said, you can't. I, you're too young. And I said, hey, we're going to get, get married anyway. So. They decided they'd let us get married, and, but we had to pay for it, and it cost us all outdoors to get married. They had this huge wedding, and um, we ended up being married and broke. <laughs> you know? You want to color one of the pictures? Okay. Listen, we can color one of the pictures. Let's color that one, okay? She knows I've been goofy all my life, you know? <laughs> After 50 years, she knows that I do silly things, and she thinks it's funny. The first time I did it, she was out. First time I got dressed up as a clown, she didn't know I was going to do it. She went out shopping or something, and I put on all the makeup. And I, because I had studied all the stuff about even before I went to clown college, I studied about putting the makeup on and all. And so I put the makeup on and I worked on a costume, and I waited for her to come home. And when she came home, I went in the garage, and I was standing in the garage, and we had the garage door opener. And when the garage door opened, there I am standing in this goofy costume with makeup on. She didn't know who it was. <laughs> and she got afraid to come into the garage. And I said, hi, how are you? She recognized my voice. <laughs> but she didn't know me. My, even my own wife didn't know me when I had caught when the costume on. She thought it was terrific. Yeah. Mr. Magic's big box of tricks. I knew it. What? You knew that? I, I, knew I thought it said no smoking. I'm Ron Burgess, and I'm a clown. Mm -hmm.